Hey, welcome back, BBC fans. We are back with another interesting uh, segment called Convince Me. And this time, James is going to try to convince me that I should pick up the Hasbro Magmatron, which is probably, let's be honest, one of the most unusual <laughs> commander class figures, for me at least. Um, to James, it might seem like the norm and, and to people who got it, but definitely something out of my wheelhouse. So um, let's, so stay tuned as he tries to convince me to pick up this figure. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> One. All right, guys, so before we start reviewing Magmatron, I do wanna say I'm going to be objective in my opinion, which means the good and bad is gonna show. So I'm not 100% trying to convince Bobby more than just say the things I like and dislike about it. Because if I wanted to convince him, I'd just lie and tell him it's, you know, the bee's knees, which some of it is, some of it's not. So let's start off with the accessories. So these first two are right up Bobby's alley and they're little red swords. I know you like them, Bobby. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they're cool that they come with them and I will show you why I'm glad they come with them in a little bit. He also comes with blast effects for the gun he doesn't have. <laughs> he comes with three of these little ones that are like, you know, on the tip. And then there's like, I think five of them in here. But just don't rip apart this one because I started to because I thought it was another one. I started ripping it apart. So there's a whole bunch of them. But my problem is you see that the peg is so flimsy. Literally. I mean, I know I have everything on there, but if you put it in. And it's falling out slowly. So <laughs> that is not good. But I do like these little ones. I think those are kind of cool little blast effects right there. Well, kind of different, I, you know. I guess you need, you need to get a, a bigger hole to take all that. No, <laughs> if, if anything, Bobby, it would need to be smaller so it would stay in. Uh, I, I mean, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here he is trying to make this not PG. Let's get into the figures <laughs> now. So like, Bobby, pick blue, green, and red. Over there. <laughs> pick blue, green, or red. We're going to start with beast mode. Uh, let's go with green. Green? Okay. So the first we're one going, is... We're going to go with green. Nessie. So the first thing I want to say is that is actually a really good head sculpt on this thing. It looks pretty menacing. Um, not bad looking. I realized you could just turn the neck around and it doesn't look horrible because all the pictures have it like this as the front. And I'm like, why didn't they turn it around? It makes sense. <laughs> I don't get it. But honestly, it's not bad. It has hinges and stuff. I mean, it's not the best looking, you know, it doesn't clean up, but it's not a masterpiece figure. So, you know, you get what you get. But my biggest complaint is that hinge, which I believe is a different plastic, is not painted. You can see the shiny bluish green paint around it. That's not painted at all. And it really breaks up this mode, in my opinion. Um, but I'm just glad to have a Nessie in my collection. And is that the, is that what it's called? No, Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Uh, okay, I mean, but I didn't know if they- No, no, it's called um, Seasaurus. Okay. Yeah, so. All right, now let's move on. I guess we'll move on to the red one, which is, I think it's a Quetzalcoatlus. I think that's the name. Um, right off the bat, these are flimsy. And where is it? If you look right there, the paints, I, mean, I don't know if it's gonna come up. See a little dot right there? Yes. Right there? Those were right off the package. It had that. So. so it's like a paint splatter? Is it's that what like, No, it's a lack of paint because the pink is painted on. Oh. And that's okay. kind of annoying. Um, the Predacon crystal does look good, but I know you don't care about those. But it does look good. Um, the head is very ugly. I think it's supposed to. I think they did an accurate job to the animal. But it's very, like, bulbous. <laughs> so, it looks good. It's all, it's pretty hollow here and stuff, but it's not bad. And it's it has quite a big wingspan as well. So, not the worst thing in the world, but not the best thing in the world either i don't think either of these three beast modes would sway you on this so, okay so. is there any other 
articulation like with those? Well, the wings move out, these go like this, but it doesn't really do anything because like, and maybe that's how it's supposed to look. Um, and then they swivel here. And the legs have a complete, it has a ball joint at the hip, which you could kind of see. And then it has two hinges to, so it could get that digigrade look with the foot, which it looks like it has a small foot, but it su stands surprisingly well. Um, oh, and then it has a ball jointed head as well as a secondary transformation joint. If you wanted to like look at the ground, because he's sad because his head's bulbous. Um, but honestly, it's not the worst thing in the world. And he is a headmaster, and I know you like headmasters, so I think you should pick this up. Mm. Um, I'll let you keep going. <laughs> and I forgot his mouth opened, but they only painted the bottom and not the top. <laughs> so, I mean, it is what it is. Right. Um, yeah. Lastly, which is probably the most disappointing one. I don't remember which dinosaur this is, but I'm just going to call it the T-Rex. Please let me know in the comments which one it is, because I'm sure um, one of you knows. And do you see something missing? So there looks like the scales aren't painted. Right there. there yeah, it looks like it goes white purple. And I'm looking at it, you know, and, and it's I, not well. It's I mean, a different plastic than the rest, so it's probably due to it having to be stronger and they couldn't paint it. But that's really annoying to me. Honestly. Um I thought it was gonna be all the way blue down. I guess the pictures just hit it, you know, going yeah. like this and stuff, and you couldn't see it. But it is really big. It's about as big as the um Megatron, Beast Wars Megatron, which I think you have. I do. Right, the leader class one. The head does wiggle waggle, which is neat. But look at how far the mouth opens. That's it. Out of all of them, that one should open the biggest. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. And I have seen some mods where people take the head apart because it's screws, which surprised me that this thing had screws because they've been staying away from screws. Um, take it apart and they've shaved stuff away. But honestly, I'm not doing that. Um, and then if you move the leg, you do see the insides. You know the 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 blue, but again, I'm to me that doesn't matter because it's going to be like this either which way. Um, but another thing is if you look at the tail, let me see if I get to show it. Right there, there's a stress mark. Do you see it right above the peg? Right uh, there. Yes. So that was like that when I just took it out of the box, which is really concerning that it came like that. Um, but those are the negatives. I think it looks decent. It's not a bad dinosaur, but this mouth is just, he, he can't look very threatening. Um, and then this kind of goes into transformation, but the sword is right here in the tail. And it's because it's rubber, you can't get it out. <laughs> I have to grab both sides and then kind of grab the middle. And then finally it comes out. That is the worst design ever. So, I don't like that either, but it looks like they did okay with it. I also wish right here, if you see the foot, they molded the foot, but then they just arbitrarily added an ankle tilt. So it doesn't like flow <laughs> with the, did you, you see that? Like yeah. the, the toes are up here still, which I know is something they do in Marvel Legends a lot. Um, they like made the figure and then just cut it to put a joint in, but it's not horrible. But it's not the best thing in the world. So why don't we get into your favorite mode? And we'll be right back. And we're back with this mode. You should have seen Bobby laughing as I was putting this together. Um, yeah, it, it's a thing. One thing I did forget to mention about the wings is I hate these holes from the um, swords. So I almost find it necessary to put them in. So we're going to do that right now. And since these are rubber, they were bent in my packaging. So the swords, you know, Hasbro thought of everything. So they actually gave you these swords so you could straighten out the, the wings. Isn't that nice of them to make something in rubber plastic that you have to fix? <laughs> um, there we go. Uh-oh. He doesn't like this mode. There we go. So what do you think about this? Well, let me, let me, let me say something first. So first of all, I think you should put, plug these arms in these little baby arms because they kind of go away. And then he does look more like a dragon with four legs. 
Do you see what I mean? If those are gone, if these could move up, like, you know, to be where these arms are, I think it would look a lot better. But I understand that that would take a lot of engineering that they probably didn't want to put into this one figure. Um, now, with that being said, do you like this mode, Bobby? <laughs> that is terrible. It's <laughs> <laughs> absolutely terrible. What's wrong with it? It'd be easier to ask what's right with it. <laughs> what's right with it? Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Um, Honestly, I, you can tell that the original toy, this was an afterthought for them to put it together like this. And it still shows. I mean, it looks like the red one's like about to give birth and they put the blanket on top. The blue blanket on top, so and and you don't even want to know what the other two are doing. The other two are 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 making the baby that is about to give birth. Oh my gosh, that that so, uh, it's it's definitely a thing, but we don't need to dwell too much on it because this is definitely, in my opinion, the worst of the three modes. But it kind of yeah. is expected to be because it's literally just three modes put together so and we'll talk um, about the arms and how they look in the next um in the next segment so are you ready to transform this thing into the robot mode please please yeah yes, yes. i think you should look at it a little bit more i'm my eyes are are blinding right now i'm i'm phasing my eyes are phasing out okay well let's do it before he goes blind Right, so now we looked at one combined mode, which is probably the reason why Bobby's going to buy it. So now let's look at the <laughs> second combined mode. Um, and this one looks really good. He has a really good head sculpt. Um, he has the wings, you know. The gold looks really neat. I do like how all three heads are on, one's on the chest and two are on the shoulders. I think that's a really cool symmetry while it's asymmetrical. I mean, he's had that design before, so, you know. There's the spark crystal again. Um, they don't look the same as the originals, and they don't look as good. I wish that they maybe put a little bit more effort into that because the spark crystals were such a big part of, you know, my Transformers when I was growing up. Um, moving down, he has the little red on the chest, which don't really go. Th this always confused me. Felt like there needed to be an extra set of hands that wrapped around them. On the other side. Yeah, but, I mean, it's just decoration. Um, so, with this kibble, I kind of put the arms like this, so it kind of looks like a belt. So, it's like a whole, you know, section. I don't even want to know what you're thinking. <laughs> um, it is pretty cool with these ball joints right here. They look better than Megatron's, as well as it has a knee up until about that point. If you see that. And then you break it if you do that, but... You know, oh, I think right. that was pretty cool um, that they added that extra molding because they didn't have to, and they yeah. did. Um, not a big fan of the tail sticking out. Like I wish it could have collapsed more, but again, it's the original figure, and the rest of it looks good. You know, a lot of good articulation. The head can actually swivel, but these really get in the way. Um, but if you move them out, he doesn't have 360 because he hits a lot of stuff. But you know, it is what it is. The arms are actually on really strong ratchets. I don't know if you can hear that. I can hear it, yeah. I'm quite surprised with the ratchets in this thing. Again, with this way, like, a lot of good ratchets. The arm swivel is right here, no ratchets, but ratcheted elbow, and he does have a double-jointed elbow, mostly due to transformation, and looks decent. Not the best elbow. Um, and the hands, so this is something I don't like. So first of all, they do swivel. If you remember when they first showed this, I was worried they weren't going to swivel. So they do. So no issues there. They also go out, which is mostly due. Oh, let me show it like that. Which is mostly due to that abomination mode. Um, <laughs> but you know that's cool. And then the fingers move. I don't know why they couldn't just cut them all and give us individually moving fingers. Yeah. Um, but they didn't. But what I don't like is this thumb. So let me just swivel the hand around to show you. So the thumb moves right. But it always ends up like this for me. And like, yeah, I don't know. I don't like that. 
per aspect of it personally. Um, the legs as well. I think I already kind of showed all this off in the, the legs. And he has a... He, he, you have to move this little butt flap up and then he can get a slight... Uh, it's actually, actually, it's 360 if you really push it. Kind of looks a little weird. But um, so he has all the articulation that you would want besides maybe articulated fingers, which I'm sure we're going to get an upgrade set for him eventually. Um, yeah, he, he's not bad. Now, I was transforming him and you had a comment or two. What did you think of the transformation? It, it, it looks like a giant parts former. Now, why do you say that? Because it's... It something that I know you complained about with some of the figures is you don't like uh, with the third party, for instance, when they explode is the word you used, and uh -huh. and that's what this does to me. It's really like, okay. Yeah, I mean, I I don't see it so much as exploding, but I do kind of see what you're getting at. Yeah. yeah, it's you know, which again to get all of those parts, you know, arranged to. I mean, just look at the where the blue goes into the green, and then the blue pops up on the head, on the shoulder, mm -hmm. and and all. So it makes sense, but it's like I don't know the character, so never seen it before until this this release. Um, but that's the first thing I thought about was this is it looks like a parts form where you're you're taking pieces, you're transforming that piece, and then you're pl you're taking another piece and transforming that, you're plugging them together, then you take another piece and transform it here, and you stick that on. But isn't that the definition of a combiner? Because isn't that what he is? I I don't know because <laughs> well I don't think so because like I mean I look at it as I guess technically it is, but it's it's three dinosaurs that go into to one um and i'm trying to and this is it's been years decades since i've i've messed with the beast wars combiners um that they had um like the what the elephant the, yeah tripredicus and um magma boss Mag yeah. magna boss not magma boss yeah so and i don't i mean again i had those when they first came out those are great figures but those um, all had individual robot modes as well. But yeah, I thought they all had individual robot modes. So then it's more so of a it's a robot, you know, that transforms into something. And then that's that's what I consider a combiner. So this would you more... consider a duocon a parts former? Like Overlord? Because that's the same thing as this. This just has one more Yeah, but it, I, master. I think I with that one. It's, I guess it, the parts aren't aren't all over the place. Like it's to me, th looking at this one, it seems like the parts are all over the place. And like, granted, the like the the treads are like the tank mode that's all at the bottom. The um, jet mode is all at the top. So it's kind of like well, a. I'm just gonna argue with you. All of this and this. No, sorry, wrong side. This is the dinosaur. The head is the bird, and the back and the arms. Or Nessie. Yeah, it's just when you were trying. <laughs> I know. Just, I'm, I'm just. I'm just playing devil's advocate. I could. Yeah. Say, I thought you were going to say it looks like a parts former because of this. I. Which is the shield, which I don't mind. I like the weapons and stuff being. In in, it, I can't think it, of the word. It's interactive. Yeah, it, it's included in the alt modes, but he can only put it on one arm with this hole. The other arm doesn't have it. I wish you could put it on either arm. Um, but it does just clip in. Let me, there you go. Oh. Let me see if I can, there you go. So I usually, this is honestly, usually how I just have them with this, with the other thing, which is a sword, which is very floppy, um, which I don't like. I get it. You might poke somebody's eye out, but it's really not good. And there's the other spark crystal, but I kind of like how he looks like a knight. I don't honestly know much about this character so maybe that's intentional but i think that looks kind of cool with the sword and shield like he's about ready to go you know protect the castle but he also looks like a dragon so i kind of like all that i'm i'm a little, and again this isn't 
this isn't um, for you to convince me on. I'm just curious. We have other swords and weapons that aren't plastic or rubber villain. So why do they choose to do this one? I wonder. I think it's the length. Oh, okay. Yeah, I th I, I think that's why. I I couldn't tell you though. It's just like these these you could poke somebody's eye out with, and they're rubber too. But okay. then these swords are hard plastic. Because I'm thinking, didn't Magnus the the shattered glass Magnus come with a sword? I think he did. I don't know because I, I don't I, have a figure. I have them, but oh, that's a whole other topic. That's but, that's a whole different situation. Yeah, as one, but, so, yeah, that's that that kind of threw me off. But but I do think the sword looks good though. It's very it's well detailed. Very detailed. It's very, very cool. It's very um, you know like the original one. It is made out of a clear um, plastic or rubber and then painted. So that's kind of strange, but that's fine. Um, either which way, I like most of what I'm seeing. So do you want to get into the final thoughts? Let's get into the final thoughts. So let's discuss it. So personally, I'm okay with this figure. The price wasn't $110. I think it was 80 or 90. It was 90. 90, which isn't bad. He is hefty and he stays together well. Um, and he has weight on him, which I was not expecting. Um, it's very similar to the original toy, which is fine because I don't have it. So I'm not complaining there. Um, Save you some money? From yes. Getting, for, getting, yes the from getting the original one. Yeah. And I think this is an upgrade at the same time. Okay. There's, there's quite a bit of stuff that's upgraded. Um, I just wish there were some things that were different. More paint and whatnot. But maybe toy hacks will fix that. You know... But then if I get Toy Hacks and DNA set, that's going to bump this up to like 150 bucks, if not more. So we'll see if that happens. I might move on to the next thing at that point. Um, but I'm not mad at the price or at the figure in general. I think it'll look fine on a shelf. Um, do I think it's for everybody? No. Am I surprised Hasbro did this as a commander class? Yes. So now we need Commander Class Striker. Just putting it out there. Now, Bobby, I might be a little negative, but are you going to buy this now? No. no. <laughs> I didn't think so. No. And 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 honestly, it was it was a hard sell. Similar to, I mean, I think with these episodes, I mean, we we always pick hard figures typically. Um, this was a hard sell, but I really thought this was a good opportunity for you to show it as somebody who really wanted this figure, but uh, then a little stretch, but okay. Well, really wanted the figure when you saw it announced, you were pretty excited about it. And then when you saw what it looked like, you were yeah, you you know, that excitement boiled way way down. So <laughs> I, I think that this was a good one because we can see the good and the bad for it. Uh, Definitely. And this figure has a lot of good and bad. I mean, I would say, honestly, more good than bad. But the there, the good outweighs the bad, but there's more little bad things. Does that make sense? There's little yep. nitpicky things. But overall, I think this is a good figure. And it's fun to transform, you know, to just mess with. So, yeah. yeah. I, 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 and I think it looked, I am like a hate for this. I think it looks better as who it's supposed to be than that Magnus that came out. This looks like Magmatron. That yeah, Mag the Commander class Magnus, the proportions are all off, in my opinion. So, I think this is more of a win in that respect. But again, it's definitely not for everybody. Yeah. Again, I don't know what the character looks like from what I've seen. It does it looks look like this. <laughs> it looks like it looks like that. The Mag the the Magnus. I would agree. He should have been thinner, and you know he should be taller than he is wide, you know? And so I agree with you on that. I think that this one hits the mark probably better, uh, whether or not that better is from in my eyes better. Um, but I think that like most figures, we talk about whether we pick it up or don't pick it up. What always makes it worth our money is when it looks like the figure yes. or the character that we want. And for that, I I think this hits a home run on that. I think it does look like what it's supposed to look like. 
I think the and again, this is somebody who never seen the other figure, never seen anything else. I don't know about the transformation. Don't know if it's similar or what. I think that that second mode is terrible. And that's very weird to me. And But if it, if it holds true to the, the toy or the tune or comic or whatever, again, I, I can't say anything bad about that. Uh, things that I liked about it, I liked that the sword pl plugs in to the purple or blue dinosaur rather um and and how it it hides away it it makes it really cool it, it blends in very well um the shield it it makes sense for it i mean it's a a flat piece of <laughs> you know dinosaur part and it makes sense to be a shield that's a great use for it um when you showed how the um the the sword um hilt mm -hmm. um transforms um that was a exactly. yeah that was a little concerning with when you mentioned the bending yeah of, so of you, plastic. you you have to bend some of the plastic at least i do if you have a better way to transform this which i'm sure you guys do watching this let me know because right now you have to like bend it out to get these flaps out like that and then so on and so forth with the other side which i'm actually getting a little stress marks on it but oh well yeah, yeah so that's that's a an um a problem and and not necessarily a Q, qc issue i guess but maybe an a actual mold issue so that design issue yeah. yeah so that's you know not good but overall i I would give this probably this would be a passing grade. I think you would get a passing grade on this. Um, again, not seven for out me of ten. Probably yeah, seven seven out of ten. Mm -hmm. um, again, not for my collection, but for those that are excited for this character, or you know, who like this character and like the look. Um, you mentioned it, it has some heft to it. I I like that. Especially as as we start getting the bigger figures, I don't want a big figure that doesn't weigh anything, you know. Um, and you mentioned it's everything plugs in, you know, securely and 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 tight. That, those are all things that I want, especially from a combiner. You know, it looks like the the arms, you know, hold up the, you know, and it's pretty solid when you hold it by the backpack. You know, yeah. it'll start, you know, unpegging, but that's because it's heavy. So. I'm, I was shocked when I picked this thing up and I felt the weight and the ratchets and all that stuff on it. Yeah. So, I mean, overall, I think from from your description of it, Hasbro did a did a decent job on it. Um, I, I won't be adding it to my collection. If they repainted it as something, I won't be adding it to my collection. <laughs> um, but I, I, I think that it's a it's a, a good a good find. Yeah, I, I, if I was to rate it on a scale out of 10, I'd probably do a 7 out of 10 as well. I think some of those flaws are glaring. Like the missing paint in the dino modes, that is crazy to me that they would let that fly. I might have a few Q QC issues, but I'm not rating it on those. You know, it is what it is. Um, who knows? Maybe I just got the only copy with those issues. But other than that, it, it's a pretty good figure. Um, yeah, I think... This is what I'm not talking about pricing. This is what we should be expecting out of the commander class line. Let me say that. I was going to say leader class because in my eyes, this is still leader class and they just moved leader class down to ultra nowadays. Um, this is what we should be expecting something with heft with a lot of posability and you know, all the ratchets and stuff. And hopefully, the Magnus was like that. I don't know. I didn't pick it up. And we'll have to see what the next one is. <laughs> we'll talk really soon. All right. As always, to all debates are one. Maybe James convinced somebody. <laughs> <laughs>